Arc Mods. In this video, we're going to show you exactly how to get mods in your Arc single player worlds. You can also get mods on servers, but uh, that's not what this specific video is about. If you'd like to see that, let us know in the comments. But for your Arc local worlds, we're just going to click host slash local here. Then on the right hand side, we can see mod settings. But how do you get mods here? We'll click this plus button, get new mods. And that opens up the Steam Workshop, where we can find all sorts of mods here. For example, you've got All Arena Plus and all sorts of cool stuff here. The Backmac mod, for example, can be added. However, I would also recommend changing this from one week to potentially all time here, because when you change to all time, you get a lot more popular stuff. For example, Paleo Arc Expansion. That's a big one. As well as the Arc Editions mod, which adds in all sorts of cool stuff. I mean, there's tons of different mods here, but if you don't sort correctly, you won't get many, if any of them. And Pokeballs, that's just cool. So now if we go ahead and add these few mods in. We can come back and they'll be available. As you can see, two are actually still installing, but once they are installed, they will be available. Paleo Arc Expansion is here, and once a mod is here, by the way, you can just click on it and click this Add Mod button to move it up here to the top. If you want to remove it, click on it and move it back to the bottom. Let's go ahead and let these install, and then once they do, they'll appear. There we go, they are all installed, and we can now select them. Paleo Arc, Arc Editions, Pokeballs, and Awesome Teleporters can all be moved up here with this button. Again, click on them and click that button to remove them. At this point, you can go ahead and play. You're good to go. Now, if you do want to run this on a server, we actually recommend Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex. Start your very own ARC server, 24 hours, 7 days a week, always up and running, amazing hardware, and 24 hour, 7 day a week support as well. So if you want to start an ARC server, look no further than Apex Hosting at the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex ARC. Now let's go click play single player and it's going to launch on in with these mods. It's that simple to get mods added. No reason to overcomplicate it, no reason to do anything else, but just add them and let Ark load on in. I did notice it took a little longer to play that world than I am used to, and that's most likely due to those mods being installed as well. As you can see, your UI party is now active. Press any of the arrow keys to get going, all this stuff. You can definitely see that those mods are active. So if you have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below, but that's how easy it is to add mods to Ark Survival Evolved. And uh, yeah, that's one thing that's amazing about the Steam Workshop. With that, you can just add mods so quickly, so easily, and some cool mods as well. Adding in new dinosaurs and all sorts of stuff. If you want to see more ARC videos, let us know in the comment section down below. But thanks for watching. My name is Nick. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.